What's going on? We back. It's the Boxing Clinic. Good morning, your boy CJ. Good fella. One time for the one time. Y'all know what the business is. We grinding. And uh, y'all know we talk more than boxers, so don't let the name fool you. And the L.A. Clippers um, was about to re-up Bruce Warren's deal as a commentator or analyst. Um, but they end up letting him go because he made some, you know, some comments about Kawhi Leonard that wasn't so bad. It was more of the mindset of saying, you know, you know, after all the Spurs did for you, you turned your back on them. You came up leaning on Kawhi Ginobili and was able to grow the proper way. And, you know, it was just a whole bunch of excuses to get out of San Antonio. It was like that. It wasn't a, a bad or, or some hateful out of the blue stuff or, or he was reaching or he called him a boy or a nigga or, or a clown or nothing. And that just shows you right here, man, how short a leash black people have in the workforce industry, man. You know, had this been a white guy that said this, and I don't care what you guys say, had this been a white commentator that said this, he'd have got a slap on the wrist, nothing would have happened. You know, Bruce Bourne didn't say nothing. Maybe they look at it as treason, or espionage, whatever you want to call it. He supposed to be with the Clippers, and he talking about the San Antonio Spurs and still defending them. At the end of the day, he was a Spur. He did win three championships with a Spur as a Spurs, but he wasn't talking on L.A. Clipper air. He is an analyst that did make his way around ESPN, and he does have a value opinion in the sports world. A lot of people love Bruce Bourne's sports opinion, especially when it comes to the particular sport about basketball. And he says something that wasn't even out of line. I linked the, I linked the story to the description, and all of a sudden, he gone like that. At the end of the day, don't nobody even want to call Clipper basketball. Don't nobody even want to watch Clipper basketball 82 games of the year and call it. You know what I'm saying? You know, at the end of the day, he was doing y'all a favor. Um, you know, at the end of the day, he was probably a good guy. I heard him call a couple games on NBA TV. But I just showed you how short the leash is it, it is for black people in America in the workforce, man. I mean, that that it was this wasn't even worth being fired, getting fired for. They had like Kawhi Leonard is legitimately going to leave the Toronto Raptors next year and come to the Clippers. He ain't trying to go to no second rate Clippers. Believe what you want to believe. He's standing with the Raptors or he's going to the Lakers. You know what I'm saying? Y'all back to being the uh, L.A. little brothers, man. And that's a fact, you know? And now they want to be proactive and get rid of Bruce Bourne all quick and all that. But, I mean, you know, the NBA or, or the Clipper organization didn't move that fast on Donald Sterling. You know, he didn't step down or or the partners or other core co-owners didn't really try to push Donald Sterling out there that quick. And if they could have, if this was the NFL, Donald Sterling would still have his team, all right? But so, it, this dude say nothing racial. It was no no bad, tasteful stuff about Kawhi Leonard family. It was no low blows, no high blows. This was this was a tasteful little rant. That's it. More not really a, a bad rant. And all of a sudden, this dude loses his job over something like that. I done heard worse stuff being said. I done heard, I done seen a baseball player tweet some racist stuff out. He got a standing round of applause, and he got a slap on the wrist. Josh Allen for the Buffalo Bills is out here tweeting in N words and, and and all types of racial stuff. You know, he got a slap on the wrist. Ain't nothing happened to him. You know, Boston fans yelling N words out to, to Adam Jones in the outfield. Ain't nothing happened with the Red Sox for real. It's double standards. I honestly heard announcers say way worse. I done heard people who had a value sports opinion go on racist rants before and still have a job. Or still get another opportunity. It just show you how short the leash is is for the black person working out here, man. It show you it's just show you how they don't value us like that, man. You know, if I'm blue born, fuck them. Cry two tears in the bucket, fuck it. For real. At the end of the day, I'm pretty sure Bruce is smart enough to do what he needs to do with his money and, and just live your life. Forget that media crap, man. Plenty of these, these writers then wrote borderline racist stuff, then wrote racial stuff, then lie. Then broke all type of media and journalism rules all over the place. And over here, and then took money to write BS. And it done way worse and said way worse than them. And been documented saying way worse than what Bruce Bruin said. But still out here, got a J-O-B. Still out here holding a microphone. Still out here writing BS articles and stuff like that, man. This story just got me heated, man. It ain't like he said nothing out of the ordinary or nothing. Oh, this nappy-headed dude. You done got people... That and call girls nappy headed and still had jobs. You got people out here that and rape their employees and, and pay the settlement in a minute by paying a forty million dollar settlement and still got a job and still got a voice. You done got people that have been racist and dropped the M Bob on air or off the air and been caught and still got jobs. It's trying. I'm trying to tell you, excuse me, man. It ain't. It's it's just cold world out here for the black man. If you anybody uh. 
younger that's listening or you need a word of advice, you got to be three times better than, than your competition, man. That's real, man. You got to be three times better than your competition. You got to go beyond, above and beyond the call of duty just to squeak by and just to get adequate praise at your job, man. And if you ain't going to do that, you might as well just just, swear from, just do enough just to get by, I guess. You know, don't expect no recognition, man, from these people out here, man. It's a dirty game out here, man. The Boston Clinic and more catches on social media. We on all three platforms. Them links into the description as well. Also, new Raw and Cut podcast, man. Cali got a couple more weeks on this assignment. Then we're going to get to cranking it up and, and get back with it, man. I think he said this is last week, so um, it's me and his podcast. So we're going to have some guests. We're going to really crank it up. Share, subscribe, shout out to the PayPal link, donations, man. That link is in the description. We gone.